Y254. Imagine. Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and this is Power Talk. And right before we went on our break, we were trying to understand how we can build long-lasting relationships that end into marriage. So joining me is, uh, we have Catherine Carrera and Alan Lawrence, and they were just enlightening us on some of the things that you need to do before you get into relationships, which the main thing is understanding yourself. If you're lonely and you think being in a relationship will solve that, it will not. If you have financial issues, a relationship will not solve that. You have to be complete in yourself and then get into a partnership which you can build into something that is long lasting. So in, in line with that, can we discuss some of the conversations that we need to hold with our partners before we decide that this is the man of my dreams? <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, yeah. what are some conversations you had with your husband before you got to accept his proposal? Ah, good. I, at 29, I did not want a boyfriend. I wanted a man to marry me. So we had to look into the future. How many children? Where are we going to settle? How many, actually, the biggest question I asked him is, are there snakes where you come from? <laughs> so you have to go to the nitty gritties of the same. But again, as you go to the nitty gritties of the same, you must make sure that you don't tell everything. Make sure that you don't remove ev every skeleton in the cupboard. Leave some there, you take them to the grave. Don't come and tell your man that I have aborted 12 babies. No, it will be used against you. So look at uh, what you want, where you want to go in life. But again, you know that time, because now you're feeling paragasha, even thinking logically will not help you. You want to be the cool, nice guy. You cannot even blow your nose, and the gentleman cannot step on a fly. Hmm. So you have to know what you're getting yourself into. The earlier you get to know where he's coming from, the better for you. So that you're not, you don't find yourself related to this guy. Hmm. I'm from uh, Kirinyaga. And my grandfather, my great grandfather had 46 wives. So I quickly <laughs> said, You should have seen Alan's reaction to <laughs> So Alan I was shocked. I quickly said, I will not marry from Kirinyaga. Mm. So you have to set terms for yourself. But don't set terms that are going to kunyonga your chances. Then be open minded. Don't be like the girls today that want to look at the wallet. Is there a wallet? Money comes. And the Bible says that whoever fights a wife, fights, fights a, good a good thing, thing and thing. obtains favor. So, young lady, if you have a gentleman that is looking at you and saying, can I? And he doesn't have anything, consider. Unfortunately, now we have Akina Alan that wants to be kuekwa, <laughs> or fugua. They want to be fugua. So you have to weigh. And the only way you can weigh, get to know five friends of Alan. Don't ask him to show you. Because your friends will speak about who you are yes. by character. So as you ask each other those things, also commit to it. You're not coming in as a, he's not buying a tool. You know the way you walk? No. It is, as he said, partnership. You, you have to meet somewhere and agree. Then I also want to quickly say that uh, relationship and marriage is not a two-people show. That is why now you hear on TikTok, somebody says, I married my father without knowing. Immediately you get to know that this gentleman now, I think I can say, I do, start visiting. And because Alan told us to visit with our clothes on, bring somebody else, bring somebody else, so that you visit in a, in a crowd. Because you know, bodies talk. Sure. When, you, you're, when you're in love, they all talk. And so you have to make sure that uh, you also protect your integrity. As you visit each other, the earlier you get to, to see the negative side, the better. And we all have a negative side. And I want to say this, in relationship, whatever you ignore grows. True. Those are the red flags. If you see a red flag that you are so sure you cannot accommodate, do not sweep it underneath the carpet. Because when you sweep it underneath the carpet, when you get married, iyo kimutu ina inuka. So you must make sure you have searched yourself, you have searched him, 
you have invested time and quality. Our times, you, when we were dating, there, were, there was only cheap, chips for 20 bob. And uh, we used to buy and walk to Huru Park. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, you're saying, if he's not driving a car, I will not yeah. see him. <laughs> Cars are acquired. Wealth is also acquired. And they cannot vanish. So you must make sure that uh, you look at the heart of every person. And when I talk about the heart, it's very hard for you to see the heart when you're feeling, uh -huh. mm -hmm. but now you have to make sure that uh, after you have done, uh -huh, you think. The way Alan told us, when you go to the, to buy that, 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 that lunch, I don't know where you take the dates now, <laughs> the way they treat the waiter, okay? Or even if they are, they are, they are driving a car, how they will talk, in church if they are coming and if somebody says i don't want my pastor to know about you that's a red flag, a red flag. please yes <laughs> then as I, as I as i as i finish please do not be driven by desperation because when you're desperate you tend to do other more desperate things i normally say desperation will make you desperate things that are going to leave you desperate in the des desperation of man now. Mm. Come yourself. <laughs> yes. Amen. And that's how you find <laughs> that, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> because that was well said. You know, unfortunately, these days, as you said, we prioritize the physical aspects. Mm -hmm. We want someone with a six-pack who mm -hmm. drives a Range Rover mm -hmm. with five million in their accounts. Mm -hmm. I want a six-figure salaried guy. Yeah. You'll date the double himself. Six, mm. six, six, mm. six, 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 six. Because mm. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many sixes yeah. there. Then you find someone, uh, a lady, I want a man who drives. My sister, I advise you'll find them where you've packed yours. Mm. And you know, <laughs> amen. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> because if you yourself are working towards financial stability, mm -hmm. if you have a car, mm -hmm. you have a stable job, mm -hmm. you are spiritually mm -hmm. advanced and mature, mm -hmm. then it's very easy for you to align with someone yeah. who's mm -hmm. the same because we attract who we mm -hmm. are. That's, right. exactly. That's the reality mm -hmm. of life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as you talked about self-disclosure, you mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. Kuna Kuna manono ingine Kuna ingine Kuna ingine Yes. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> these days people hide families. Mm -hmm. They hide whole spouses okay. and, you know, things that mm -hmm. will affect the marriage when, you, when you're with uh, kids later on. There's this popular show now uh, that is on Showmax, I believe. And the show is about someone who hid another family. So after his death, the family comes about and you realize, oh, dad had a whole other wife, children. So, Alan, tell us, because sometimes, unfortunately, it's the men who do more of the hiding. <laughs> what would you advise in regards to self-disclosure? What should you hide and what do you need to conceal? First of all... And uh, what do you need to expose, I mean, uh, sorry. Perfect. You know, one thing, if a person can hide even, like, let's say they have a child in the past, if they can hide this uh, child, uh, that they cannot introduce this child, then you have... You have to have all reasons to flee from this person because th that is if that is not even a red flag that is a red sea because <laughs> <laughs> sincerely do not cross the sea because <laughs> it is the most important this is a, a most important person in their lives as well so if they tend to hide those things so the other thing uh what people need to hide uh, the especially what is the essence of of you not to to not to expose is like um Today, if you get to, to cut an onion directly, you know, utalia sana. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. So the gist of it is uh, past sitting, try to, 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 to unveil yourself slowly by slowly, slowly by, self, by slowly, so that this person can gain more interest to search you. Because a person who has more interest about you, they will go away to be able to dig information about you, not that they want you just to lay bare. Because if we are sitting today in this setup, you've said blah, blah, you know, I have these, uh, all those things, I'll get bored. Yeah. Men, we are project-oriented. Men, we uh, go after projects. We go after what excites us. We go to places where there is competition. I strive to get something. But if you lay it bare for me, then I will lose interest. That's mm -hmm. when you wonder, after, after two deaths, then I no longer, I'm no longer interested with you. Yeah. What's, the, what's the enough is when you, we sleep. 
we are like there is no interest because there's also the burnout you've yes. exhausted all the information yes. that you could share yes and as we've talked about this is someone you're getting to know yeah. for three months five yeah. months you're getting to know someone yeah. and if you finish that's when you even get the temptation of being sexual and you're like ah, to show and get <laughs> to show and get like it, yeah. <laughs> so i want to go on facebook where you've written me some of your comments thank you for that i'll start with missy waidara who says hey blessing hi missy Amazing discussion right there. For me, I think to build a long-lasting relationship is by one, knowing who you are and what you stand for, your beliefs and earned, what makes you you is very important. That's a good point, I like that. The second one is having the right foundation. If born again, let God be at the middle of your every move. Mm -hmm. You're watching us from Naivasha. Asante sana tinamisi for that. That's very informative. And we have Bad Culture who says, just before giving and easy to understand where you are needed to do so, at least talk about later life with your partner. Thank you for that. That's also important because squeezy what on a kosana na nivyo. Story Meisha. Mm. Derek Murumbi says, trust and discipline are all er evaporated from the generation of Jezebel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate, <laughs> but it's also true, it's Derek. True. Mm. Karani Don Ferron says, uh, Following from Outer Meru, thank you so much for following us. We have Mwas Waemba who says in. Thank you for tuning in. Dennis Nyongesa says, watching Nikiwa Hapa Namwisi in Bungoma County, what matters a lot is trusting in each other. That is true. If you have trust, then you can build something long-lasting. Yes. Waweru Wakibod says following. Thank you so much for following us, Waweru. Um, um, Gift Mutunga says respect and communication. That's important. Okay, so. Those are two main ingredients that mm. you need. Mutuku Kithuka Wanzeni says, Pamoja, thank you so much for tuning in. Makboz Mras Fulani Omosh says, respect is all that matters. That's true. I find that for men, they value respect. Don Dada says, I'm in sana. Thank you so much for all the comments. Nona Watwengi wanna watch from all over Kenya. We appreciate you. Bado Endelea, if you have a question, if you have a comment, write to me. Even on my personal pages, we will sample that as we progress with the show. And I like the, the aspect of respect, communication, yeah. and knowing yourself. Mm. It is important to know yourself because if you're getting into a relationship now, how jijui, what are you bringing to the table? What mm. are you offering they to pay add them. value? They pay and they pay people <laughs> hate the question of what are you bringing <laughs> to the table. They, they the table. There, yeah. is, there is something Omosh said uh, about respect. You know, no matter what you do as a lady to a man, a man does not understand love. That's the sad reality. You find most, most women get so much frustrated because you try to love a man. A man is never loved. A man understands love and respect. So endeavor you are all your life to, to respect this person. The moment you respect this person, it is their duty now to love you. Yes, yeah. that is well I think that's one of the <laughs> secrets that sometimes we don't find yeah, out yeah, about. Yeah. Mm. You want to love bomb someone, cook <laughs> for them, clean, and you wonder why is he not proposing? Yes, mm. yeah. But it's about respecting yeah. the man, making him feel yeah. like he is the man, mm. you know. And uh, I want to talk about values and beliefs mm. because we've talked about even the standards yeah. are in alignment with our values, our mm. personal values. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you have different values, mm -hmm. is it possible at all to make things work? Catherine, what do you think? Uh, as you have said that uh, you have washed for him and you have cooked for him and he's not proposing. Where are you when you're washing and cleaning for him? But why are you washing for this person? Yeah. <laughs> where <laughs> are you? Where are you? So, I like the question. <laughs> so, as, as he told us to visit with our clothes on, by the time you're washing and cleaning, you have compromised. Mm. You must make sure that you protect yourself. Besides now man wanting value, respect, he also wants to chase you as a girl. Thank you. So you must make sure you don't stay here at the edge to be touched, to be looked at, and everything else. Make sure that you're, you are available, but don't put yourself on the plate mm. to be eaten raw. Wha what are the values are we talking about here? And I want to go a little bit deeper to help the society. We need to know that, uh, as I had said earlier about sex, Ianuma, it's only called sit down. So you have to tell them that I cannot do the sit down one, the behind one. I see he was looking at me and wondering now what. <laughs> you have to value yourself to that level. You have to value yourself as a girlfriend 
not to go in and watch those things. You have to value yourself so much that you don't compromise the God that you believe in. I believe in Jesus Christ. Then you cannot now go and date somebody who does not ascribe to him. Because if he does not ascribe to your God, you are making the other God your father-in-law. Mm. So you must make sure that you, you, you value yourself. Value yourself so that even when you go out for a drink, if he doesn't pay for the drink, you can pay for the drink yourself. Do not just be Amen. there. And then yes. again, lower your expectations mm. and increase your praise. Oh. The other day, somebody asked me, how come we have so many single mothers and uh, what is happening? And I said, unfortunately, these people behave like a, a crocodile. It will go where the eggs are, gives life, the male one, does not even remember it did. But again, now I'm saying, if you are so casual with sex, we become casualty. Mm. Because what you take casually will make you a casualty. Value yourself. Do not lower your standard so much because you're desperate. But if it has happened and you have had the sex and you have even conceived, stop saying that I aborted for my boyfriend. Abortion is murder. Abortion is a crime. Abortion will torment you. This gentleman will not even remember he had a baby. But the scars that we don't see take longer to heal. So he's also hurting. So you have to make sure that you carry yourself like, as a fragile thing. Mm. But again now, statistics are telling us something that is very worrying. We look at the male jails in Nairobi. We have Kamete, we have Industrial Area. And we look at the women one, we have one. So we see that there are so many of the gentlemen that have gone jail. to jail. Uh, where I come from, we had, uh, okay, the Nakuru, they have what they call confirmed, those illegal groupings. Very many young men died there. Also, the illicit blue, very many men have died there. So don't just sit there and say, I can only marry my tribe. Yeah. Be open-ended. He is a male, and he has everything there, and he ascribes to God. Mm. Go for it. It's about the character. Value, about value, the value. value human being do not value what they are bringing on table the table will be set and the bringings will come mm -hmm. yes i like this catherine is giving us <laughs> gems of information <laughs> yeah. today yeah. and that is so true if you value yourself the man will automatically yes. value you as yes. well the now i i see you have an opinion so let me ask you a question and then you can add on to yeah, that yeah. <coughs> so the way she's talked about you're aware with our generation we have the standards mm. Chems. Standard, yeah, yes. <laughs> Say, I want a man who's like this. I want a woman who's like this. And it's both male and female. Yeah. And unfortunately, some of these standards, men are even telling you, I want you to give me a child before we get to marriage. You will cry with that child. You will <laughs> cry with that <laughs> <laughs> So tell our viewers at home, standards, zinaingilia wapi na zikwamie wapi. What standards should we insert into relationships that will help us form healthy relationships wow perfect she talked of something very important why why are we having ladies on the streets or why are we having ladies complaining that there are no men to marry them and everything just a simple question who can who can buy the cow and if they are getting the milk free mm -hmm. so the moment this supply of sex is being reduced mm -hmm. i'm telling you men will get to commit but men are getting the low fruits easily so who wants to commit no one. So it is a high time that people value themselves. Put a VAT to your value. You get? For a person to get to you, then they have to go through the process. This, th this thing of trying to fast track the process for a man is the reason as to why you'll continue to stay in your parents' compound for long. So it is high time for you to know your value. The question should be even today, no matter how beautiful, no matter how handsome a person, a uh, corpse is, you will not go uh, marrying that corpse. So the same case to a relationship. Today, you find this person doesn't have any value, doesn't have any respect, especially for us men. I don't have any regard, any respect for w w women whatsoever. Then you want me to value you in a relationship? It will not happen. The kingdom of God operates on principles. So uh, like patterns in the life of this person, is this person open enough to talk about their excess? Because patterns in relationships are the prophecy of their future. 
you, you get. This person has more than two baby mamas and you expect this person to commit unto you. <laughs> what makes you think you are special? Mm. So we have to reach to that point, check the track record of this person. So back to what you are saying about uh, the kind of value, you talked about value, mm. it is now about your personal, personal uh, integrity and personal value. Where do you guys meet? So it is not a must that this person should be uh, tall, dark, and handsome. There are some, those are some of the things you can be able to compromise. But the most important thing is about their value system, the fabric that holds the two of you together. Does this person value you as a human being in the first place? Does this person value your parents? Does this person respect people around them? So those are the key components that you have to look at. So yes. do not compromise about. Then the other thing is, as a woman, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about women. As a woman, you are not only a helper, you get. You have your personal aspirations. And you get to a point, uh, you guys, you tend to say, like, oh, because I will not buy a car, I will not uh, climb my career ladder. Excuse me. Do all those things. An assertive man, a man who is comfortable, will let you shine in your path will be able to meet you at your element. So do not compromise your standard so that you can be able to accommodate a man. a man. A true man will meet you in your full element. So do not sit there saying, I will not go for a second degree, I will not go to school so that I attract a man. And you see, I like that you've said that because mm. earlier today I, I read, I had this video actually of someone saying, when a man is insecure, your success will threaten yeah. him. But when a man is secure in himself, he will want to add to your success. He will want to push you yeah. to greater heights. Yeah. Now, b because our time is running we out. We are looking for women who are, who are good in boardrooms, not, not only in bedrooms. And it's value <laughs> addition. Yes. You know, it's a partnership. Yeah. If you're educated and I'm educated, it's adding value to yeah. us as a unit. Yes. You know, so let's talk about vulnerability yes. before I want us to finish with finances because finances are important in relationships as well yeah. so vulnerability roho. at what point catherine because you told us you have to know what to say and what not to say at what point do you start disclosing things that may be affected you in the past maybe you have daddy issues perhaps you had uh, someone who raped you as a child unfortunately is it okay to open up about these things? And at what point do you open up about things that are close to your heart? The good thing is nowadays we have therapists that are everywhere available. Seek one. Walk with them before you tell this gentleman. Because you know you're emotionally now connected. So you will start crying all over him. And he's going to wonder now, am I getting a baby? That is always <laughs> crying. So before you bonus. empty yourself to this man, make sure that uh, you have you have healed, mm. okay? Because you're not going to look at him as a healer. He could also be battling other things. However, even when that time comes, we don't read a book all pages together. We go one step by step. And I want to quote the word of God. The word of God says that homes are built on the foundation of, of wisdom and understanding mm -hmm. where there is knowledge so you have to have wisdom you have to understanding you have to be a foot you have to have a footed foundation and then now you can be able to sh to say it all but even as you say it all you have to make sure that you understand the person so that he will never use it against you when you're dating if your man ever slaps you when you're dating only ever slams a door on you when you're dating. Please, let it ishia there. Mm. I normally say, do not allow a fool to kiss you or a kiss to fool you. Do not be fooled by the kisses that you have gotten. Run for your life. Now, when you say, I do, when you say, I've married, now there you can negotiate on what to say and not on what not to say and you know men are strange things you know these people they lived in with with the animals in the garden <laughs> so they easily would want to live as animals oh, so you can tell them something they'll hit back on you I, when i got married at 29 we never conceived until after a few years and i remember my sister Gazoni, my sister-in-law came and said Usijifanya msungu, because i had just come from europe and I said, we have done all what we can, but the baby has not come. Assuming I had said, So I want to say this. As you get into marriage, look at yourself like you're living in a glass house. 
people that are living glass houses, blessing, they don't throw stones. Mm -hmm. Because one stone back, it crashes. Mm -hmm. So you must make sure that you know the right time when to empty yourself. Mm -hmm. yes. So that uh, you have to apply wisdom and understanding of the situation and your person mm -hmm. and heal so that you're not looking at your person as, I want you to heal me from this <laughs> situation. Cannot. Because that's another thing, unfortunately, these days, we seek our partners to compliment, or actually, not even compliment, mm. to be the person there. If They're I didn't have therapist. a father, I want you to be my father. Good. I want you to be my therapist, mm. which is wrong because you're mm. putting a burden mm -hmm. on your partner. Mm. Now I want you to, uh, to end the finances, kidogo too, mm. because I know these days we have issues because women are earning as much as men. Mm. And men are feeling like women should share or go 50-50 on bills and things like that. Lawrence, what yeah. do you think? Does the financial status of individuals affect the gender roles that they play in the marriage? Uh, for me, uh, what I understand is money or rather finances are not everything. But it is the only thing if it is going to facilitate more love for this relationship. So it is just an enhancement. And it's not even about the finances as per se. It's about the attitude you guys are having towards finances. Whereby if I'm financially vulnerable unto you, you'll be able to help me to plan. Because maybe I'm a good uh, saver and you're a good spender. So we need to see where do we come, where do we now strike the balance. I can be working, making the money, then you help me in terms of budgeting. And it only comes to one thing about our maturity level. Am I mature enough and secure enough to help this person, help me to be able to propagate myself towards achieving that? Because remember, this person is not here to compete with me. They're here to be able to compliment me, to help me grow in purpose, to help me grow in all the departments of my life. You cannot be Al Shia, uh, El Shaddai. You cannot be the Alpha and the <laughs> Omega. You understand? Mm -hmm. You cannot be good at everything. You get? So you have to let your partner shine in the area that they have to shine mm. and grow together. So, yes. yeah. So it's understanding your, uh, your strengths and your weaknesses. Uh, yes. If your partner is better at financial planning and what not, you yeah, yeah. we were shopping, nanini, we you yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah. So I also want to talk about people who ask for money. Mm -hmm. You know, these days men are skeptical about sending fare and sending what not because they assume women <laughs> just eat money. <laughs> so, But why should I send you fare? That's the thing I want us to understand. Should you send your, your, the person that you're trying to get should you send them fair? Should you say, I want you to come see me. This is money for your cab to come here. Or when they ask, is it a problem? Catherine, what do you think? We need to invest in the relationship. I have to bring myself there. Then yes. at least tell me, Catherine, can I pay you back? Thank you. Okay. Mm. The volume. At least <laughs> come, come, <laughs> come, come. <laughs> he told us something. It is partnership. Yes. I want to make it a round ball. Yeah. A ball cannot be complete yeah. with half side. Mm. So please, let us come from that area of setting fair. But I also want to understand, you to understand what money is. Yeah. Money is not only physical. Yeah. Money is very spiritual. Mm. That is why ukiona kikiumana wanaua. Because money is energy. Sweat, okay? Blood. It is sweat, blood. Huyu yeah. mjamaa ametuanga kokoto. <laughs> Alafu nimekula pesa yake. Ataku atakumalisha. So you have to agree that you come wherever you or you are. Then from there we can we can negotiate. But again now we are looking at uh, women that want to dig gold. Okay? gold diggers and others that want wealth transfer, you have to understand them. Before you commit to set a cab, let them come. And, and you know nowadays, my three, they are very comfortable. You know, I, 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 when I came to Nairobi, I'm a village girl. Mm. When I came to Nairobi, I used to live in oh, their place, that place, Rangata. And we used to do 34, Kenya Baza, you we don't know it. <laughs> so here people are moving in a three that is comfortable. Okay. And you you get yourself there. Be he told us when you rush, you'll crash. Get yourself there mm. to so many do you we know are you coming to eat or you are coming to go. And you know, <laughs> nowadays social media, I'm sure even when you saw my name, you Google to call now, oh, your mama man, <laughs> <laughs> uh, try, try and yeah. understand them. I want to tell the men that they need to apply the hawk eyes. You know, the hawk? You know, a Jew. Mm, uh, hawk eye. Una ona una kabisa, una ona una jua, hii, imekuja kunimalisia. <laughs> yes. 
So you have to study. You have and the to. way you've said, I, I agree with you, you have to be willing to invest. Of course. Because if I'm agreeing to come to you, of course. but I'm not willing to give even 50 mm -hmm. for fair, mm -hmm. then do I really like you? Mm -hmm. You know? So I want us to read a um, question someone has posted. <laughs> Ah, yeah. So the first one is someone who is watching us. Ras Vini is watching from Buhoro village, Butere sub-county to Kopamoja. Asante mm -hmm. sana Ras. Masman KE says, hey blessing, a Masman and the conversation is well going, but I can't understand my relationship since no communication as, and distance is there. I love her so much, but I'm losing myself in it. We can hit even a week without hello. I'm feeling like I'm walking, uh, I'm feeling like walking away from the relationship. Since it's so draining to me right now, ASAP, what's the best advice, please? From Matu Yata Machakos. Asanti Mas. No, no, Alan. Alan Kwanza Mewashwa Nayo. So maybe we can get advice from the man mm -hmm. and then we can get Kathy yes, to yes, finish yes. with our advice. Mm -hmm. uh, here, the, the thing is, there is no proper commitment in a relationship if there is no communication. Mm -hmm. So communication is very key. A person who values you, they will be able to create time. Mm -hmm. They will free time to talk to you. But a person who does not value you, they will only talk to you at their free time. Mm. So you need, yes. to you need to get your priorities right. So if this person is serious about you, they will be able to ensure that at least they communicate with you. I don't mean that uh, they, they, they be there nagging you, love bombing you. No. If you see the, 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 the level of commitment in them and the level of sacrifice because it's not even about that communication. Like, for example, she was saying she was out of the country. Maybe she was dating like the husband and the husband is here. So there is a, an aspect of time difference. For her even to sacrifice an hour to talk to this person, you see, it, is, it takes sacrifice mm -hmm. because she's serious to invest in this relationship because you only harvest where you invest. Mm -hmm. So if you're not investing in this relationship, then it will not work. It takes two to tangle. So you cannot think that you are in this relationship and yet you're trying to resurrect the dead. Yeah. It's only God <laughs> who can do it. You're working by yourself. Because yes. <laughs> it seems like the guy is trying, but the lady is not trying. And they have, there's the issue of communication and distance. Mm. Yeah. Catherine, what would you advise our young man? He's an achesor. Exactly. <laughs> A relationship, as I had said earlier, yeah. commitment, devotion, and willing. I'm a chesor. Ukweli. Kabisa. And I'm also of the idea, because I'm a bad texter, mm. I say that to everyone. Mm -hmm. But when I am interested, I will take the time, I will make the effort. Mm -hmm. So if there's no effort being made, mm -hmm. Mars, mm. I'm really sorry, mm -hmm. but there's so many fish in the sea. <laughs> if that one has gone, you emenda. Emenda. Look for the <laughs> next one. But before he ended, now that's why we get a mis we do a mistake. He has to heal. Mm. You, have, you must make sure that you heal. Out of this relationship, again, I go back to the Bible. The word of God says, when Samson flew from Gaza in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. soon after, he fell in love with Delilah. So you must heal from one relationship before you before eat you another one. The, otherwise, you'll be going through the same yeah. cycle and over and, and over and again. Yes. This person yes. thinking that they are hurting, mm. but yet they didn't. Yes. Mm. So just to add on uh, about the healing, you need to understand and agree that men for us, we get out of a relationship, then we begin to heal. Mm. So the, the moment a lady gets out of this relationship, they have already gone through the healing process. That true. is why a lady can break up with me today and get married tomorrow. That is true. You get, and it can be okay with her. But for me as a man, I can think that I'm, I'm okay, but yet I will start healing in that relationship. The, yet I'm hurting this lady in this relationship, and yet this relationship will not serve me. Um, so let me cut yep. in. Even these ladies that look like they have healed, they have married with a baggage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that baggage will crush this marriage. You just have to address yes. the pain and yes. the failure yes. so that you move on. Yes. So because time is not on our side, let's just get some parting shots. To Ambia to 30 seconds or less <laughs> before we are cut off air. Yeah. Catherine, Thank you. what's your parting shot for our guests? The ladies who are watching you and they want to form lasting relationships invest, and get to marry. Invest in that relationship. If the man does not have anything, the anything will come. Do not look at the man and say, Hannah Numa, by the way, Numa comes when we feed them. Do not look at the man and say they don't know how to dress. Ours, you should have seen them those times. <laughs> Lady, I want to tell you this. The clock is ticking. Lower your expectations increase your praise.
Thank you. Yes. That is very well said. Mm. So, Alan, what is your parting shot this evening? For the men who are looking for a relationship here, serious Nairobi, yeah. what can you tell them? Brother, what I can tell you is be comfortable in your own skin. And the moment you begin to, sh to see the red flags, please do not try to paint them to your preference. Sometimes treat these people the way they are showing you, but do not treat them as the way you want to see them. And that by so doing, you lower your, your expectations. And the moment you lower your expectations, that's the moment you're going to lower your level of frustrations in life. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've loved our guests today. You are enlightened. And you've given us information that I hope our audience, Kamoja Chukwa Yoyote, understand yourself, know your expectations, manage them, and look for the person when you react now to. So I want to read our parting shot because time is not on our side. And the quote says, Building your kindness, courtesy, and